Hi, welcome back to Mind Hijack. Hey, this whole pandemic has come up with some new ideas. I want you to check out this new mask that I have. I look like the uh, mutant turtles. I hope you enjoy it. This is one of the very few things that are coming out of this epidemic. And another thing I'm noticing is more people are exercising every day. I always say that out of a dark moment, the brightest things happen to people. And exercise is one of them. Well, you wonder what I'm doing out here. I'm doing something here to teach you how to overcome the inertia and exercise in an outside place. And this is the best place of all, behind Mother Nature. And you know what? If you're not from Florida, I'm sorry, but Florida is beautiful. You're surrounded by all this everywhere you go. So today's show, I'm gonna teach you some ways how to overcome that. And let me tell you what the foundation is for exercise. I'm about to show you uh, some studies that are being published right now as to the benefit of exercise. It appears that Exercise increase the amount of white cells as you exercise. It seems to help people with overcome some of their illnesses. Lymphocytes count to increase and therefore your immune system improves. So these are good reasons for you to change your lifestyle and exercise. But what is the biggest problem to exercise? I will tell you what it is. The problem with exercise we never finish. So I am going to teach you some phases and some aspects of myself when I was very young. When I was very young, I was very slim and I was very in good shape. As time went by though, I kind of let go of the exercise and lifestyle and the outcome as you see with some of these pictures and videos. However, I made a decision about five years ago to change my life. And one of the things that motivated me is I had to come with some kind of image of what I wanted to be and why. One of the biggest problems I had when I, about five years ago is when I bent over to tie my shoes, as soon as I came up, believe it or not, I was out of breath. And also when I was climbing stairs, here I was at the age of 50 or 55, I should say, and I was out of breath. There was no reason for me out of breath. My waist started getting bigger. I was weighing 240 pounds and my blood pressure kept coming up. And the biggest problem and my biggest fear, I kept watching these programs of how to save people. Imagine I was in this flood. I couldn't even save myself. Imagine I'm with my three children in the vehicle. How am I gonna save them? So that was the initial impetus of me doing something to change. So I'm about to teach you how to unhijack your brain so you can become better and doing exercise. You know, exercise is something, it's the most difficult thing that we do. And I'm gonna show you some of the steps I had to go through. So before you can actually start doing this journey, you have to overcome certain preconceived notions. You know, one of the biggest problems in our brain, it gets programmed to what we see. And what you program into that brain is what you become. So you have to unhijack your brain to do this. So I'm about to show you in my phone some of the obstacles that you have to go through. One of the biggest excuses that we say is, I am too old. Nonsense. Look at the internet. I'm about to show you some channels of an 80 year old woman who does exercise. You can find this on the internet everywhere. You can go into the Latin channels and you see people who are 75 years old lifting weights. So that whole concept that you're too old is nonsense. Another thing that you say to yourself, I don't have time. Ask yourself, how much have you found yourself every day, an hour and a half sitting on the couch, munching on potatoes and potato chips and popcorn, when you could be doing some exercise? Time is not a factor. You make time. So these are the things you have to erase from your brain to unprogram how you think. Another thing is this, I'm too tired. Yeah, you're too tired yet you're able to stay up at night till three in the morning watching TV shows, if that's an excuse to be tired, you have to unprogram your brain that tired has nothing to do with it. And the other thing we always say, I'm gonna start Monday, it never happens. You just do it. You need to put in your brain, just do it. These are the initial thoughts that you have to overcome. I have too many children, hey, so what? I know a neighbor of mine that in his garage, and his wife, they're lifting weights and they're exercising to improve themselves during this pandemic. So having too many children is not true. In fact, you become an inspiration to your children as I will show you in some of my videos. As I began to do these exercises, my children got inspired. Actually, they got involved. My exercise of choice was cage fighting or MMA mixed martial arts. And you will see in one of my other videos and I will tell you how important that is when you have the initial motivation to do this. So another thing that we think about is that we say to ourselves, you work long hours, you create hours. I used to work long hours. I used to wake up at nine in the morning and come home at 10 in the evening. 
So what did I start doing? I started working out at seven in the morning. So hours and time is another thing that you have to overcome. Another excuse that we tell ourselves, hey, I have too many medical problems. What if, if I was to tell you that I have an L4, L5 herniated disc that required injections? You know, when I first started doing exercise, I got overconfident but was playing with my children and I decided to carry my two kids right on my shoulder and before you know it, I herniated my disc. Man, that put a hamper in my exercise. In fact, it made me set back about six months. However, injuries is a way around this. You can always overcome this. Exercise can be modified around your injury. So having an injury, you always can work around. The key is to put your body in motion. So injuries is not a thing. Now, the other thing we say to ourselves, hey, I'm older, my body changes all the time. My body's changing, so as I get older, this is what happens to a body. It's nonsense. What you have to visualize is your genetics. You know, if you start imaging yourself as being Schwarzenegger or people on television, it's not true. By the way, cameras, a little secret, cameras put on 10 pounds of weight whether you like it or not. A lot of people on television have to lose significant amount of weight to look pretty slim. So if you see them in person, you say, my God, the wind is gonna blow them over. So these are the initial things you have to overcome, which is really, you can unprogram yourself in believing. Now you make that move. Now it's the moment. And the moment is going to be, let's do it. So the phase two of this whole change and journey, one of the things when you begin to work out, you're going to have pain. But before you take such a venture, I highly recommend that you hire a personal trainer. He doesn't have to be, he or she does not have to be with you every day, but you do need someone who can show you the ropes at the beginning. Oh, you're gonna say it's expensive. Hey, what is a physical, you know, when you get an injury, a doctor writes a prescription for what? Physical rehabilitation. Well, what do you think of physical rehab? You have to pay a copay, sometimes $50 a visit, and often you have to be up to $250 a month. So, what's the difference between this and another person? One needs a prescription and one you invest in. So, one of the things you always have to realize is that you're gonna to have to have an investment in people that can show you. It is important to have a professional show you and guide you through the ropes. Because basically, when you begin to work out, you're gonna have a lot of pain and you're gonna be very fatigued and you have an incredible desire to go to sleep afterwards. Another thing that happens during this phase, you begin to go on the weight scale and you weigh yourself constantly and you say, oh my God, I'm gaining weight, I'm not losing weight. It's not about your weight, it's about your body size. During the initial phase of exercise, your muscles begin to grow, your body begins to change and things change pretty fast. And another big problem during phase two is that you don't see results right away. What kind of result? It's not your body weight. It's how you feel. So some of the things you notice is when you're changing in this phase two, is you're gonna notice that you're, you feel less fatigued, you're less tired, as time goes by, you're able to sleep all night, and suddenly you begin to say to yourself, I think I got it. You know, some of the things I'm gonna show you in this video is myself. It's not to show off, maybe a little bit, but it's to show you if I can do this and you see some of the, the way I was, you can do it also. I mean, this is the purpose that I'm here for you is to show you that even I can do it. Now look at me, I got children, I'm a medical doctor, I barely sleep, well I do sleep more now, but I have all kinds of reasons not to do exercise. So my colleagues, if I can do it, you can do it. So be an example to your children and your patients. So when do you see results? Results do not happen right away. Results take time. Results doesn't happen in two months. And one of the biggest secrets to success is called consistency. Consistency and consistency. That is, if you make a disciplined schedule to do three times a week, you stick to it, do not deviate. Nothing should stop it. No phone calls, no children or nothing. Once you make the commitment, consistency is gonna be the key to success. And you gotta say to yourself, the results don't happen right away. You have to respect yourself. You know, so what are the benefits? What are the benefits of exercise? Imagine going to a restaurant, right? And eating whatever you want. However, it doesn't mean you have to eat everything. You know, one of the things that require change in, in exercise is that you have to modify your diet. You're gonna notice that you're gonna have cravings for sugar. Sugar is not a good thing because it converts to fat right away. 
So you gotta figure out new ways to get carbos. The carbs you can get from bananas, from apples, you have to change your diet. It's not just exercise, you have to modify your eating habits. You you shouldn't go buy very expensive diets, but you should have a balanced diet. You will see that in another show which I talk about this. One of the requirements I will have to tell you that during the workout, many people who succeed in this buy these liquid drinks called workout recovery, extremely important. The pain of the muscle is very severe. The muscle is starving. And if you take these drinks, it actually they call amino acids. They help your body recover quicker. So next time you go to the gym, you're able to do it again. So the benefits already I told you, improve libido, improve performance. You begin to buy clothes you always wanted. And guess what? You don't buy clothes that you hide your body, you begin to show off your body. As you can see in one of my pictures, here's me with a t-shirt on without wearing a suit. So you become less reliable and less dependable. I should say you become re less reliant and dependable on now things to look good and feel good. You begin to realize that you can actually do it yourself. So what is the ultimate goal? I always say, these are the things I tell you. but. What makes you strong? You know, strength to me is defined differently than most. To me, being strong is able to pull yourself up, a pull up at least five times. Try to, try to imagine yourself like the movies, you're trying to run away from a cave. If you can pull yourself up against the wall, you have become strong. That's how you define strong. Everybody's muscle is different. Your body is different. Your body is not gonna look like the next one. So sometimes when you're at the gym, you cannot be misguided to what you see. You can't look at another person and see, well, I wanna look like, it's not true. Your body is different. I know I will never be slim. I think I'm always gonna have very chunky, muscular, but this is me. But the most important thing is that you feel physically incredible. You're able to run. You're able to do things you never could imagine. And one of the biggest benefit of all this, you're not afraid of your mortality because you have made changes. You know, one of the things I've noticed that my cholesterol dropped, I no longer have to take cholesterol medications. I've noticed that my blood pressure has dropped and it has improved even though uh, it hasn't disappeared altogether. But I tell you, it has improved almost 90%. And obviously, as you can tell, I'm, I'm not, if you had to take a guess, how old do you think I am? Sometimes people think I'm about 50. I'm really 61 years old, believe it or not. And I have showed you some pictures in the past. So vanity is good. When you start taking selfies, after your workout, you begin to realize, wow, this is your positive feedback that you're doing well. But the biggest, uh, biggest thing about this is your children. You become a prime example as to how you become better. Now during this pandemic, more than ever, children need to be physically fit. People need to be physically fit. The, the research and data is there that exercise uh, improves your lymphocytes, improves your immunity. It's all well established. Look at the link below and you can see for the article for yourself. Okay, so once again, I'd like to thank you for showing up on today's show and I hope this becomes a motivation for you to do the same. I'd like you to like and subscribe and I'm looking forward to your next show. Tell me what you like to hear. I'll see you then.